Hey, this is Jerry with Profit Now, and I'm going to do another short video for you based on hiring. So, how do you hire a top salesperson? Uh, we're going to talk specifically about salespeople. So, choosing a salesperson is the same as trying to find your ideal client. You know, you want an avatar. In fact, it's more important with a salesperson. You want the right person. Who is that? Is that a woman or a man? Is that age? 20 to 30, is at age 40 to 50, um, what are you looking for in an avatar? You're going to kind of place your ad based on that. Another thing is, is it's very challenging right now because the unemployment is low and uh, the, the, there's a lot of competition to hire. So one of the things that we're doing is we're offering a $500 bonus to people that get hired on. And that it looks really good in the ad. And it's a good incentive to hire. Uh, we use Craigslist instead of, uh, um, we've used Indeed and Jobby.com, places like that. I've had the most luck myself in Craigslist. You need to test different sites and see which one works best for you. But I want to go over quickly the process about how we hire a top salesperson, how we get the best salespeople. This one's going to be a little bit longer, but you're going to like it. Um, so first of all, place your ad. Um, with offering the $500 bonus, uh, but then you also want to show them how much money that they can make uh, if they work for you. Uh, is it 70 to 90,000 a year? Is it 100,000? Is it over 100,000? What's the most amount of money they can make? And, and give it a good range so you can attract the best salespeople who really want to make a lot of money and do a good job. So next thing you're going to do is you want to you want them to call a 24-hour recorded message. Uh, there's a place that you can go, it's called iTeleCenter, where you can record this message. They can call it 24 hours a day, and you're gonna leave a message on there saying, for example, mine is, hi, this is Jerry Levinson at Carpets of Arizona. We're looking for an A player, and we think that might be you. So, um, in your own words, I'd like to, you leave me a message telling me why you think you're an A player, and why you think you think you would be great for this job. That gives you a chance, they're gonna leave a message and it gives you the opportunity to hear them first selling themselves. They gotta sell themselves to at least get a phone call from you offering them to come in for an interview. So if they can do that, if they attract you, they sound good and you wanna call them up and the best thing to do is call them up and interview them again. Ask them some questions. And again, let's get them to talk their way, sell their way, they're salespeople, right? Sell their way into an interview with you. Uh, and if they're not qualified right there, you can dismiss them right out of hand. And no, I don't think you're a right fit for this position. Thanks for calling. Uh, good luck to you. Uh, but if you do like them, then schedule that interview with them. Now you're going to go to the interview. There's various uh, interview questions that we have them ask. Uh, um, I got this from the Ultimate Sales uh, Machine, Chet Holmes. Uh, I've also written it in my own book that's Profit Now about how to hire a top salesperson. There's a lot of really good interview questions that you can ask. Um, but again, never hire somebody on the spot. You want them to jump through a few hoops before getting the job. Um, the trick is is to hire slow and fire fast, and we're always we want we're so anxious to fill this position, we hire too fast and we get the wrong person. And you know how hard it is to get rid of the wrong person. It, it can be a real pain, and, and it can really make your business suffer. Um, so make sure you're hiring the right person. But here's the trick we use: um, if we like the person, they interviewed well, and we really like them then I give them a, a list of the expectations. What do we expect from you? Here's our pay structure. Here's what this job is gonna entail for you. So ours is about two pages long. It doesn't have to be really complicated. Uh, I'll give you some examples. Like our employees are expected to go to um, the Monday morning meeting, be here on time for the Monday morning meeting. They're expected to attend networking groups and be part of the process of growing the business. Uh, so they're, they're given a minimum pay 
they're expected and required to do certain things to earn that minimum pay. And that could be following up with customers, going on at least 20 appointments, things like that. So uh, give them a list of expectations and say, John, uh, I think you'd make a great fit. Uh, listen, I've got some other interviews that I'm doing. Take this home. Give me a call. Let me know what you think. This is the most important part because if John doesn't follow up, if he doesn't call you back for the job, then you don't want him. The most important part of this job as a salesperson is follow up. If they don't follow up with your customers to see if they want to go with the order, uh, think about this. You spend a lot of money to get that customer into the door. Uh, John went out to the estimate with his expertise, showed that customer what would be the right flooring for him. And then John, uh, um, John didn't get the sale. And the only way to get the sale is to call that customer and, and call them back until they get the job. <clears throat> so you want to prove them to prove that that's kind of a natural instinct of theirs to follow up. Now, once you hire them, make sure that they continue following up and make sure they understood why it is you hired them. So I've had many times where I've interviewed two people who I really liked. We've done this method and we hired the one that followed up. And that person has worked out fantastic for us. Uh, my last two salespeople have just been my top two salespeople because their follow-up is outstanding. Uh, and the, the funny thing is, the trick is, is they're not the smartest, the sharpest, the greatest uh, flooring salespeople, but their follow-up is so good that they don't need to be. They've got the personality and, uh, and they follow up with customers. So, hey, if you like this video and you want to see more just like it, uh, push the subscribe, the subscribe button. Make your new salesperson say subscribe. It's harder than you think. Push the subscribe button down below and you'll get more videos just like this and we can start profiting now.